horn section literally is the one thing on that stage that's completely different than anybody else's stage show. If you didn't see us and you A and B a show, you say, why is that one better? Like, I don't know, it just felt better. It's like, yeah, that was us. That's what we do. What's up, guys? We're the Regiment Horns. Hey! My name is Kevin Williams. I play tuba, trombone, and flute for the regiment. My name is Leon, and I play the saxophones for the regiment horns. My name is Sean Eric. I play trumpet and flugelhorn. We've been together for well over a decade. Over that time, we've worked with artists like Fantasia, Drake Bell, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg. Our latest was, uh, was Justin Timberlake. We've toured with him for almost the better part of seven years. How we help other artists inside of another band is by just really seeing what the band's about and then kind of fitting in a little crack or whatever that we can fit in. We just go in there. Now we're, you know, really part of that song. We take it to another level. I think what stands out about us the most is that we are definitely three different strong-minded people from different backgrounds, musically as well as just our upbringing. But we all bring that to the table and instead of, you know, trying to be this melting pot, it's more like a, a mixture of all those flavors that still stand out. You could get three amazing, talented horn players put together, but it's still not gonna sound like they've you know, been playing together like we have. The regiment horns is a three-person horn section, but not a three-piece. I think, I think we counted ten or eleven different instruments between us. I play the trumpet and the flugelhorn, so this brings that fire sizzle pop to it. This is kind of like if a trumpet and a French horn had a love child, it's right in the middle of it. So it'd get a little more like velvet smooth on there. Leon, this gentleman to my left, is the woodwind section. Mine is Kevin playing the flute, but he plays baritone up to soprano. And I mean he plays them, not just double, like he plays them. Kev is the jack of all trades. He goes from low to high, tuba, trombone, and amazing flute player. This isn't even all that's on our palette, but the ability to mix and combine these instruments give us a very broad spectrum to play around with. We could go from a, a Stax record type thing to John Williams or Count Basie. Being able to record a record with all those flavors or just go from one session to the next and where it's just like a complete different mindset. We're very agile like that. It's obviously been an interesting year for musicians, entertainers everywhere, so we're all kind of locked at home. So learning some more about your studio equipment, how to work it, mic placement's huge, the volume at which you play, the volume at which you gain certain things up. I'm a, I'm a Lewitt guy, I use Lewitt microphones, and usually universal audio as an interface. I'm, a, I'm also a Logic guy. When we were out on the road, we were still getting calls and we made a big point to, you know, let people know, no, nah, we're still available to record. But this year is like, well, now you have nothing else. So you got to do that. It's just been a really good thing because learning that process also just gives us more skills to communicate with the engineers, with the producers, getting to fine tune how we want to present ourselves to other people. Being visually impaired, I had to find a way to get on their level because they they can they can do some good recording. So I had to figure out how to do that and do it fast because yeah, we're getting called to do sessions at home. I started researching. I love iPads. iPads I can triple click. It gets real big for me so I can see it. Just grab the new iPad Pro, which is like a laptop for real, and a Cubasis 3. Now I got my Babyface Pro as the you know plug my mics into. And I just started researching microphones for horns and flutes. Microphone-wise, I like using the Blueberry. Uh, the Blueberry for flute, the AEA, and the Warriors for my trombone. Duba is more on the AEA for, for her, the big girl. You know, it's a good thing to force me to do that, because I was nervous of it. I think music has been a part of humanity just since the beginning. I mean, since the first dude dropped a rock and was like, oh, that sounds cool, let me do that again. It's just an integral part of our being. If you're training your brain 
to think of things creatively. It doesn't just leave you when you leave your instrument. So just having that as a, as a mental training and a mental skill beyond all the feeling and good and bad and all that stuff, I just, you know, it, it's something we could all benefit from. In college, I went into the music therapy field. Someone's autistic, music can help them focus. You know what I'm saying? If somebody uh, is in a hospice, it helps them relax. Music is there to calm, soothe, and bring good memories. I've been at this for about 25 years, 30 years. I've tried to run from it. I, there was a period of time I took my horn and put it in a case and put it in an attic. It wasn't long before I was up in that attic getting the horn again, you know what I mean? It's part of me, you know what I'm saying? And literally hearing the neighbors working on their house and then I start singing, life inspires me to keep playing music. I make music because it kind of makes you feel like part of the puzzle. I make music because I was a mess without it. I'm still a mess with it, but at least it's a beautiful mess. Ha, 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 ha.